Marcus. What is it? I, I hit start. What is it? Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where Chris and I are playing Chroma Squad. Cream and Squad. And Chris is looking at a cat. Oh. Go back to game. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm like poking buttons to figure out uh, everything at this so point. So last time we were p making our characters and picking our team, and this is who we ended up with. How does it feel to like have Mr. Beaver be <laughs> yeah, no. our team leader? And then they're so creative with his name, Beavs. <laughs> Beavs. Ooh, okay, so these are skills. Yep, I think all the skills are the same for the for each like archetype. So it's, not like, so it's not like every nice. character gets something a little different. So, okay. If I activate it, does it deactivate the other? Yep. Okay, so I can gain 15 points of skill regen, which is pointless if I don't have any other skills. Yep. Uh, heal. Heal Dukin, yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fantastic. Speaking of which, if any of you guys haven't watched our Street Fighter playthrough, check it out here. <laughs> Why? No, don't do that. No. Oh. Oh, you're terrible. 44. Yeah, he's writing it down because now I have to remember to animate that. <laughs> uh, I just want. I just did one. Stunning pose. So we can stun minions. We can. Uh... Dude. Oh, we can he, jump extra tiles. He gets so Ooh. stupid good late in the game. At one point, I was taking out four enemies in one hit. That's cool. Dude, he is. And they can have crazy. equipment too. Mm -hmm. So obviously, we don't really have much. Yeah, it's just. Right it's, now. It's like, I think it's like improvised suit and like. <laughs> Cheap gloves, toy sword. Perfect. And the thing about the helmet is, I think it's just called a bucket. How do I get out of here? You go back. See how there's the back button? All right, and going to a card's cord is how you actually fight. Okay. But you hit back. Okay, so what else do we need to do before we actually jump uh, into this? Oh, we can go to the shop really quick, I guess. I guess we, we have a thousand. Buy? Well, okay, so we do need to pay. Well, how often do we pay our actors? If I recall, it's at the end of the season. Okay, so we but get, I what, four episodes remember. in a finale? Yeah, it's, yes, yes. So, this is a, a, an, an interesting design question. Well, maybe not interesting, but hopefully. Uh, <laughs> but in a game, in most tactical games, or even RPGs, right, your basic starting equipment is generally, uh, should be sufficient to, like, handle the first couple of battles, right? Yeah. So, like, if they, at this point, do you think that we should be required to buy new equipment? And if so, should they have, like, given us a tutorial to be like, here's the shop? Yeah, they, they don't, they definitely don't give a tutorial on this. Um, but but that's the thing. Like, do you even think they need it? It's, no. I feel like it's pretty straightforward for anyone that's played games like this. Hello, hello. How are you doing? My name is Hermes Barreto. I'm a master of crafting props for movies and TV. <laughs> Some of my wares have even special bonuses. Make sure to visit my shop by clicking the button on the left. Have fun. So I guess that's sort that's of the, like tutorial. the tutorial. And because, you know, everyone likes to, to have so, a nice zero there. And if you hit studio again, you have upgrade options. So oh! Like, you, you I just get 10% HP and every episode costs more. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, costs less. Or does it cost more? I, think it's I don't know what that means. I think you buy it for 150 and then every episode takes off 25. That's what I th yes. think, no, too. That, that's, that's what it does. Okay. Um, oh, this is sweet. Yep, audience gain from director's instructions. Ooh. Uh, yep. Oh, but everything makes every episode cost more money. Well, it just takes off more from each episode. And I think the salaries are actually deducted per episode. Okay, let's not buy this yet. Yep, exactly. We, we, we can start. Um, Max audience of 2,800. Yep. And these are what... The, the, and then if you... Um, okay, so arrows, three team can... acrobatics and then keep all actors above 50%. And then go to the next page and I'll show you what part two is. Oh. Or two. Yeah. Yep. Defeat boss monster with the finishing move. Defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. Okay, so yeah, cool. it's just a little specialized thing. Does it remind us what those are? At the top. Okay, that's nice. But once you mess nice. up, it's like you lose fans. Nice. Oh, I'm so excited to see this. Oh, my God. Wow, our first episode. That's awesome. What if our first story was about a group of monsters that try to rob a science lab? And then I beat up dozens of them. Yo, Will. But hold on. We should add a narrator. Don't start the action yet. Once upon, once up time, a group of heroes is bored. No, this is good. Don't worry. <laughs> what do you think, Beeves? I heard that a good plot starts like that. 
it's good, but it's spelled wrong, isn't it? Once upon a time, once up time. <laughs> Oh, the guy that sold us the narrator software told me it's one of the uh, clerks. Oh, good. We should just roll with it. <laughs> These powerful teenagers at the last hope of humanity are the last hope of humanity, and their first test to defend a science lab from an evil monster. Yeah. Uh, but aren't the minions kind of late? Where they go, Yishi? I don't know, Beeves. They should hurry. What do you say, Scar? Scar. Scar. <laughs> They must be getting dressed. Don't worry. Let's have fun with our new job. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, here they come. We all have actions of editing to do later. Color action. Yes. Noisy noises. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I love the tiny little green screen too. Yep. Does it get bigger as we uh, as you upgrade oh, your studio? So satisfying. Dude, it really is. That's actually really smart. Hey, you all. Get yeah. ready for some action. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. We got it. all that jazz. Yep. Wow. I I actually really like this interface. It oh, feels. I'm sorry. The director's instructions are in the corner. So yes, it's always there. Nice. Okay. Yep. That's good. So are we like, are we shooting this live? Is that why like we get an audience? Um, I think the idea. I don't know if it's that we're shooting it live. Is oh no, yes it is. It is that we're shooting it live. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, you, you're going to go here, and you're going to be a teamwork buddy, because we got to do teamwork. Um, let's have you go back here. Yes! So, okay. Um, mm -hmm. I want to talk about how... Oh, is that an item? Yeah, it's the item guys early, because I didn't have beefs. Nice. So I think it's um, really interesting how they like integrate everything with like the studio space. Like yep. the player sees everything how it actually is. Exactly. Ooh, he had a counterattack. Nice. Um, but I think that's really fun, actually. Oh yeah. Oh no, it really is. And I, I think it makes the combat interface like I don't know. It the combat interface feels really awesome because it's <laughs> just like it's just there. It's just a grid that appears over everything. Um, and the actual scenery is like it's both fun to look at and like the actual like you know warehouse floor right here it's like it's not even uh, that boring we, but we it's lo we lost our first uh, mission oh yep, someone's, someone's already down drop, alien drop below 50 percent. what if i heal though it does not what uh actually it might you can give a shot with heal duke in next round or this round yeah let's try that oh you dodged graves care all right, this guy. Well, let's just finish this guy off. Boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Beeves is about to la. Nope. Beeves. Well, where's Beaves. oh Beeves? Beeves health. Oh, okay, so we can see all their stats. Oh, yep. so the alien guy is the oh we. Yeah. We're gonna get you out of there, buddy. Let me go over here, Beeves. Nah. Uh, ooh, yeah. Finish this guy. There you go. Get more duct tape. So then, as it's advantageous for Beeves to actually finish off most of the enemies. Really? Because they'll drop more items. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I guess I, they didn't really specify if that was a global effect yeah, or not. But, I don't uh, think, I don't think it's global. Can I? I guess I could just do teamwork. teamwork. Yeah. I still need to do one more acrobatic move anyway. That's actually really so smart. So what I would do though, you should be able to use her move. Oh no, you can't use her move yet. She can't heal yet. Why? Because she has to be, they have to be able to, they have to be able to, uh, <laughs> to morph. Really? Oh, they skills. haven't morphed yet. Nope. I guess that was kind of common in, in Power Rangers, though. They, like, would do just, like, combat, it, yep. and then they go, it's morphing time! Yep. <laughs> I'll fight until the end. And so, see, now we oh, can morph. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, and when you morph, all your health goes back up. Oh, oh. Well, perfect. Game depth. Oh, yeah. That's so satisfying. <laughs> Game depth engage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess it's waiting for me. <laughs> yes. That's the only time they really do the full thing. But yeah, you don't, you don't, yeah, you lose it. Once they below, drop below 50, they just assume that you failed your task. Ah, man. That's way to fail. You know, I. On mission number one. I do what I want. Do what I want. Um, so as we... Oh, he dodged. They've been dodging a lot. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. 
Yeah, okay. The asshole pulls enemies closer. Yeah. So, um, I keep trying to say this, and then I keep getting distracted. But uh, when we like upgrade our warehouse, mm -hmm. does it change our scenery too? Like, um, things get added. Um, but usually that's done by wh what the level is about. Hmm. It was usually done through storyline. Okay, that makes sense. Heal Dukin's not important right now because everyone's basically back up to full health. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, I can actually attack him. Mm-hmm. Nice. Skrrr. Skrrr. Oh, I didn't even... Wait, did that guy just appear there? No, no he, he was there. Really? Mm-hmm. What? I totally did not see him. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, everybody. I just like... <laughs> He's just like, oh, hey, that guy's there. I was like, where did he come from? Because they're gray and the warehouse is gray. Yeah, That's yeah, a pretty bad Chris excuse. Chris just sees gray. I that is what I see, <laughs> just all the time. All gray, all day. That's okay. This guy can still move far enough. Yep. So, what other kind of tactical elements are added to the game? Um, yeah, yeah. just it's more about a lot of the, about the amount of enemies. Um, so, so they kind of changed the game up with the enemies. Yeah, it's, well, not really with the change. Of, I, it's hard to say because they kind of make it like the television show, where it's mm. like you feel like almost every fight's the same. Gotcha. Like a show would be. Um, we should probably do this boss fight on the next episode. Oh man. I know, man. Oh, yeah, wait. Well, this, this is a good point to be to be continue this. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Are we gonna do the Megazord? Do we get to do it yet? We won't be able to do it yet. Oh, I just want to do the Megazord. Don't worry. We'll, we'll make sure to play till we get a Megazord. <laughs> we'll make sure. Cool. Well, uh, question of the day. Uh, what do you guys think about the objective system? Um, I guess in general, right? Like, do you think that, you know, we should be able to, once it's failed, is it, should it always be failed or should we be able to redeem it? Or, um, you know, do you think that the objective system actually makes each battle kind of like... Do you think it gives it extra achievement that makes it satisfying, yes. or do you think it's just a distraction? And, you know, anything else you might think about exactly, it, like yeah. any good or bad design things involving the challenges. Yeah, so comment with your answers below. We'll also have the question down there. Um, and be sure to vote. Yes. If you want to see more Chroma Squad, yes. we are having a blast with it already. Uh, but so much we won't keep playing it unless you guys vote for it, because... We want to play games you guys want to play. So yeah, yeah. vote for more Chroma Squad if you want to keep watching it. And vote for any other games you want to see that are in the voting system. Cool. I'll play those too. Cool. <laughs> see you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.